Now I am alone. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage wand, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function shooting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him or he to Hecuba that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? He would drown the stage with tears and cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I, a dull and muddy metalled rascal, peak like John of Dreams, unpregnant of my cause, and can say nothing. No, not for a king upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain, breaks my paint across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie in the throat as deep as to the lungs? Who does me this, huh? This wounds, I should take it. For it cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or ere this I should have fatted all the region kites with this slave's awful. Bloody body villain! Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain! Oh, vengeance! <laughs> Why, what an ass am I? This is most brave, that I, the son of a dear father murdered, Prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must like a whore unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing like a very drab, a scullion, fie upon it. About my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. For murder, though it have no tongue, will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll have these players place something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tempt him to the quick. If he but blench, I know my course. The spirit I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. Yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing, and I'll catch the conscience of the king. <laughs> 